Hey guys, so I'm finally here to talk about um, my hair, which I obviously have changed and um, quite a bit in the past few videos. So I thought I'd talk about like the process and the products and uh, things that I use to achieve this hair. So my natural hair is like a really, really dark brown. Um, it looks black from like first glance, but like when it's in natural light, um, you can kind of see the brown in it. And for the longest time, I had been dyeing my hair black because, you know, I like to wear black and white and gray clothes and I thought just black hair would look good. Um, so I just dyed it black. But at some point, um, I wanted to fall like the bandwagon of everyone having like grayish silver hair. Um, and I had gone to my hairdresser but he had said it would cost me like $300. And I thought $300 was like a little much and I thought I could do it at home. But I had dyed, my, I had bleached my hair before by myself at home once. It was a really weird experience and I didn't think I did it that well. So um, I had to do more research on like bleaching hair and all that. So uh, that's how I kind of got started with wanting to change my hair. So my hair is actually naturally really, really like pin straight. And um, I really wanted like this style of hair, um, kind of like the naturally like, I don't know, wavy, I don't know, um, sort of look. And the only way to achieve that was to get a perm. Before the last time I had my hair bleached, um, I had my hair permed after the bleaching process, but it like completely just like fucked up my hair. And it looked like pubic hair. Uh, so this time what I did was I permed my hair first and then I let my hair rest a little bit before I actually started the bleaching process. When I had gotten it permed, it, he permed it so it was like that kind of like tight curl sort of thing. So whenever I took a shower and let my hair dry, my hair was like really kind of almost curly, wavy, but um, it settled down into like this natural sort of wave pattern, I guess. I switched between parting it down the middle here and over here, but anyway. So when I finally got to like the bleaching process, um, there was this method of bleaching that I found uh, where they use coconut oil to protect the hair while um, you're bleaching it just so that um, it's not as damaging because like no matter what you do your hair is gonna get damaged when you're bleaching it. Um, so I figured I would try it out and all I did was I got myself um, some extra virgin coconut oil. I slathered that in my hair before I had bleached it. And what I was supposed to do was do it all night, but I think I put too much in my hair. It started dripping down my neck and it was getting nasty and I hated it. So I only had it on for like between 30 minutes to an hour uh, when I was supposed to do it all night uh, before I had bleached my hair. Now for bleach, what I was originally gonna do was like, I was gonna buy all my supplies from Amazon and use things like L'Oreal, was L'Oreal? The Quick Blue uh, Lightener, the bleach and like Wella developers and everything. but. I got too lazy and I figured it'd be either cheaper or about the same price if I bought all the stuff that I needed in um, Korea. So what I did was I bought these packets of bleach. These are from Nature Republic, but the ones I used were from Tony Molly, but they're like the exact same thing. They're like in these small uh, packages and they're only about $2 each. Uh, but because they're $2, you don't get that much in each. So what I had to do was every time I bleached my hair, uh, in one session I used two packets. So I don't know how a girl would even bleach her hair. She'd need like six of these for one session. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. Having the black in my hair was gonna make the process harder and require more bleaching. So what I did was um, I mixed a little bit of the bleach with some shampoo and I uh, shampooed my hair for about a minute. And then after that, um, I bleached my hair for like 20 minutes just to lighten it. And this is around the time that I wanted like the ashy brown hair. But uh, this is the first step that I took with the whole like bleaching process. Um, I'll put a picture here of how it looked after I did that whole thing. And then after that, I colored my hair like this khaki ash brown color. So yeah, I had that for like a few weeks and then I decided I wanna go gray, silver, whatever. I bought more of the bleach. Um, I did the whole coconut oil thing. Originally, I was gonna leave it in all night, like sleep in it um, with like a plastic bag over my head uh, to let the coconut oil really settle into my hair. Um, but I hated how it was like dripping down my neck because I think I put too much. So what I did was I just had it in for like 30 minutes to an hour and I just put the bleach in. I don't think I did a very good job because I didn't have a comb or anything. I just literally like splooshed it in my hair and just, you know, did that. But if anyone that has bleached their hair before would know, it's hard to like rake bleach through your hair with your fingers. 
So uh, I think he came out really patchy on her, but you know, I don't care. So it turned out to like this really orangey color as expected. I knew I would have to bleach my hair more than once. So um, I only left it in for 30 minutes. I didn't want to leave it too long because for my hair, my hair is really hard to lift. So I just left it in for a minimum amount of time. And then I would do the coconut oil and bleaching again like the next day. The next day, I don't think I put as much coconut oil because I didn't want to drip down my neck. So I left it in for like an hour and um, I did the bleaching again. This time I think for 40 minutes because this stage I really wanted to get that orange up to like a light yellow or like a banana peel color. Not like banana peel, but like the inside of the banana peel. It came out to like a not the lightest pale yellow white blonde that I needed, but um, I was pretty satisfied with it because I knew I was going to be coloring my hair anyway with a ashy color anyway, so it didn't have to be super super light for me. This is the color that I used to achieve this hair color. Um, this is the Fresh Light Airy Ash. I bought this from Olive Young, the Japanese brand I believe. Yes, Japanese. Um, yeah, they have like a ton of colors and this is like one of the few brands that I found that has like an ash color because I know in America I would probably have to get some Pravana color or something to get like silver hair color. But this one is kind of like a, it's definitely ashy. I don't know, it's just like a very, very cool gray brown. But because my hair was much lighter, um, when I had used this, um, it came out to like this almost bluish um, gray. Some people I've met in person told me that it uh, looks more blue, but um, I believe it does kind of fade out over the course of like a week or two in some more like a ashy blonde. It might be because of the formula. This is a foam and I feel like foams are weaker than like um, traditional cream color. Uh, so yeah, that's what I use. In terms of styling, I literally just get out of the shower and I dry a little bit, a little bit, because if I dry it with a hairdryer like too much, it dries out straight. Um, so I just dry um, a little bit just to get some of the water out and then I part it wherever I want to part it. And then I just let it air dry like that because then it'll form like the kind of a wave that you see here. That's because I got the perm and everything. Sometimes I'll take my round brush and I'll kind of like put it at the base and then push it forward and then I'll blow dry that spot a little bit, just a little bit, and I'll let it go. And then it'll dry more like away from my face and have this kind of like lift or whatever. So that's all I can think about right now. I hope it was enough information for you. If you have any questions, leave them down for me below in the comment section. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. It really helps me out. I feel like I said that just because all the other YouTubers say that. Products will be down below as well. And also my Instagram, my Snapchat, and all that social media stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.